What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. We got some cool news today from Plarium. Basically, on Friday this weekend, we're going to have a champion chase with a 2x void event, which is pretty good value if you ask me. It's also going to be part of the upcoming fusion. So, this isn't uh, new news that there's going to be a champion chase, but we weren't 100% sure whether there was going to be a 2x void attached to it as well, considering that Plarium hasn't been uh, super consistent with sticking to the uh, 2x boosted um, event schedule. Um, but 2x void was anticipated um, for Friday, and so far they have been sticking to the schedule. So we do have the champion chase. It is for the fusion. Um, and a 2x void for a champion chase is actually pretty good value. There's also going to be a 10x boosted rate as well so i got the pin comment uh, or a comment here from plarium basically saying there is a 2x void event coming this weekend and there's also going to be a 10x alongside it for one of the new champions sylvan watcher incenza grail bearer so i did do a showcase on this champion and there's lots of cool mechanics with her mainly her brand new buff poison cloud so this is the same buff that the hydra uh, places on themselves now we can place on ourselves um, unfortunately it's just a single target buff but it does come with a really nice 50 percent turn meter and some other buffs along with it this champion is actually really good she's really good for hydra for example um, she just she brings the aoe decrease attack which is really good she also brings a small ally attack similar to like Barichka. Um, then, of course, the Poison Cloud, increased speed, continuous heal, and a 50% terminal boost on a 3-turn cooldown. Very, very good move. The Poison Cloud is really good. It uh, I tested it in Hydra, and basically, um, the Head of Mischief will actually target the champion with the Poison Cloud, and will always weak hit against it. So when you're placing three buffs on a single target, um, you can basically control very well which target the Head of Mischief will attack. And if it has enough resistance, then the Head of Mischief will fail. But the Poison Cloud will make the Head of Mischief weak hit always, so you don't even need resistance. So it's actually a really, really good um, uh, way to deal the Head of Mischief. Um, after that, she does bring a decreased defense and weaken on a 3-turn cooldown. So similar to like um, Dracomorph or Lydia, but... Sim but not the same as Dracomorph is that this actually is a hit. Um, so it if you're hitting into some in into the Hydra's Poison Cloud, for example, um, this won't apply. Uh, whereas Dracomorph would apply. Um, the cool thing about this move is that it ignores block debuffs, which is pretty cool. Not so much for Hydra, but more for um, PVE or maybe PVP content. Um, initially, um, this was tested for some pvp content as well and the um the buff is actually really really strong of course if you place it on like for example like a, a nuker or something the nuker starts taking really low damage or actually if you place it on anybody they start taking non-crit damage and it's just they increase their survivability quite a bit her passive her passive not broken or anything but it's very solid increase this champion's accuracy by 10 for each buff on each enemy um, it's not super relevant because if you're loading her up with accuracy anyways, extra accuracy in PvE is not the craziest deal breaker. Um, whenever this, whenever an enemy receives a buff, their turn meter is decreased by 10. So again, this doesn't really apply for bosses, most bosses, so it's not a really super strong passive. Good aura. Base stats are a little bit uh, okay, kind of mid, but she has insane good base speed. With all that being said, Plarium is adjusting the way this works. In the future, Poison Cloud will not be extendable anymore. Um, there was some showcases showing that the Poison Cloud was being extended, and it was just creating absolute mayhem in wherever you would use it. So now Plarium um, has issued a fix, basically saying that Poison Cloud can no longer be extendable. Too bad they didn't do this before she was released, um, unfortunately, uh, because... Maybe people would have, you know, gone for her or built her a bit differently if they knew that. Or maybe this decreases her value quite a bit. Um, it's still really good. Still a really good move. Obviously, extending Poison Cloud seems kind of broken-ish. But 
and it also just adds a layer of inconsistency to plarium <laughs> so it is what it is they could have just made the poison cloud protected and then they didn't don't have to deal with having a special condition that it can't be extended because if it was protected it just would be not extendable but why have a special condition to not allow poison cloud to be extended i don't know Anyway, still a good champion, Sylvan Watcher, which is a Void Lego, so you're not going to weak hit on um, the, you're not going to weak hit on the decrease defense and weaken or the attack down. So she's still really good, uh, and of course the Poison Cloud, this buff still very good, uh, and it comes with Terminator as well. So potentially you could use it on some really strong damage dealer uh, like Trunda or something. Um, but yeah, just. A solid champion she's going to be offered on a 10x keep in mind that the 10x boost for a single void legendary is still about 12 percent if you hit the void lego so it's about one in eight chance of getting her if you really want her um also keep in mind that since we have a champion chase happening on the calendar um expected point value for a void shard during a 2x event during a champion chase is about it's about 100, 100 per Void Shard. Um, so f from my experience or from everyone's experience, um, most recently the Champion Chases have been more expensive. Um, and we can fuse, actually, we can fuse uh, at least two of these guys. So these guys are worth 350 each. Um, this is what you guys should be doing. At least 350 each, you guys should be saving these for the Champion Chase pull them during the champion chase that's 700 off the bat 700 off the bat there's also an active summon pool that's happening so if you haven't already make sure you guys save these pulls for the champion chase please if you guys do that you guys guarantee yourself at least another 250 points so from the fragments two pulls here and a pull i have one pull here and i haven't even finished the dungeon divers so i'll have two pulls of this um so that's 700 plus two of these that's minimum 500 that's already 1200 out of the gate like off the bat for me um i'm expecting this champion chase to be probably around 3500 points just because player knows that we have minimum two of these if you guys are doing a fusion um they're gonna make the chase compensate for some of these sometimes so i think in this case the champion chase is going to be at least 3500 um, so that means about 35 void shards on average um, But yeah, I'm pretty prepared. I got two of these guys so at 700 and then I'm gonna have two of these uh, Prism shards, which would be another 500. So 1200 um, So that's you know expected for me I'm gonna need about 2000 to pull and I'm probably gonna pull all my remnants. I've been saving these for a long time um, hoping for some something uh, like a boost or something, but I'm probably gonna pull these guys like these are all guaranteed epics. I got 10, 10 epics here. I might just save all my void shards and just pull 10, 10 remnant summons and then hope for the best. Uh, I do have plenty of void shards here, so it's not uh, not like a ginormous deal to um, use some void shards. Um, obviously, I want to keep a bit for a guarantee and I want to keep a bit for a nice progressive event or a progressive plus 2x, but it doesn't seem to be happening uh, anytime soon, so I don't mind using some i don't mind holding some but i'm probably gonna pull my remnants for this weekend all right guys so that's gonna be it for the video thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoy your day and uh yeah we'll have some good luck for the weekend hopefully um but yeah let me know in the comments below if you guys are going for grail bearer she's a good champion but probably not going to be like super super sought after um she's going to be a locked in 10x so you can't really uh, avoid uh the 10x boost on her so that's something to consider as well so Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.